How's it going everybody? So today I just want to do a quick video uh, discussing uh, how to torque tune your bow. So we're going to do it with our sights. It's going to be kind of a simple video on how to torque tune. Um, so the first thing that I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to run this sight all the way out and uh, then we're going to shoot three shots. The first shot's going to be just a normal shot. The, the second shot I'm going to torque the bow slightly to the right and then the third shot I'll torque it slightly to the left. And, and what we're looking for uh, on paper is what is my horizontal grouping look like? So how much distance are between my, you know, from the farthest left arrow to the farthest right arrow? And, 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 in, and then we're gonna move the side in and retest it again. And hopefully at some point we're gonna find a, a point where I can torque the bow either way and it's still gonna hit the middle. So uh, stick around and we'll see what happens. like I normally would, then I'm going to torque it right, and then torque it left, and then we'll go down there and take a look at the results. So here we go. Okay, I'll the target. Huh? One shot. And this one I'm going to torque it to the right. And this one here will torque it to the left. Okay guys, so you can see the first group here. Uh, this is with my sight maxed all the way out. So a lot of videos you see, especially in hunting world, uh, you'll see guys run their sight as far out as possible. Um, I know a lot of people think that, uh, you know, your sight is, is like a pistol versus a rifle. The farther out you can get it, the more accurate it will be. Uh, I'm not here to argue that. It's just, there's gonna be a position between our, our, our sight and our rest, uh, there's, there's a correlation there where you're gonna have the most forgiveness in your setup. So right here we've got, oh, probably a, probably about a four inch grouping here. Uh, and keep in mind, if you run your sight farther out, you're gonna hit low. And then as you suck your sight into your riser, it'll hit higher. So um, now what we're gonna do is pull these arrows, go back and I'll make a, a sight adjustment on the, on the carbon bar and we'll shoot it again and see what we get. All right, so here's normal shot. All right, and then this one's going to be torqued to the right. Don't mind us. No, not at all. Not at all. Don't worry about it. And then this one will get torqued to the left. Okay, so this is position two. Uh, so I moved the sight bar in two, two click locations and uh, the groups, it's a little wider. Uh, this could be me, but um, kind of give you an idea here on the spread. Uh, we're going to keep moving the side in and just see what happens and we'll go from there. 
Okay, so we're going to move the sidebar in and repeat the process. All right, so you can tell that, that that's definitely a lot closer horizontal grouping here. So uh, we're moving in the right direction, just gonna keep moving the side in until it either gets where we want it or it starts to get worse and then we'll go back. All right, so these are these are kind of closer. This might have been not as good a shot, but I'm going to keep shooting. Uh, I'm going to keep moving it in and see what it does, and we'll go from there.
All right, guys, so this was just a simple video. Um, I kind of know from shooting the same type of platform uh, that where I run my rest, you know, I usually run an overdraw. Um, the sight needs to be in as far in as it goes. And uh, this is the results. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's probably an inch wide, left to right. Not the greatest shot. I mean, this is a little high. But um, just wanted to show you guys that if you have time, uh, literally just move your sight bar all the way out shoot a straight shot, shoot it, torque it right, torque it left, uh, and then bring it in uh, in incremental steps. And, uh, and you'll definitely see that, you know, the first, the first ones we had was about maybe four to five inch group. And here we are with about, you know, an inch group. So uh, if I do my part and make good shots, uh, they should all hit the middle. So anyway, appreciate you guys watching. Uh, if you get a chance, uh, subscribe to the channel, uh, like it, share it, anything you can do to help. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next one.